Welcome everybody to the next episode of Twin Peaks. You're with the Fargonauts and the Broachy Boys. Say hi, Broachy Boys. They're not saying anything. They must be gone. So, are you guys back? Mr. Jack Pumps. Mr. Jack Pumps. I'm just introing the last episode that we watched was There's Fireware Going and I mentioned that screaming woman. That was a moment that both you and I were dreading rewatching or uh, trying to figure out like what's the purpose <laughs> like what's going on yeah what what, what does this mean <laughs> so this next one is called let's rock what do you think that means are we gonna see the arm in some form or fashion say let's rock or what I don't know that we are necessarily gonna see the arm um I, th I, th I think somebody else other than the arm is going to say the line let's rock um, but I do think that I do think that we're going to see uh, some Black Lodge sh shenanigans maybe this is the episode that we were talking about where uh, oh. it like majorly focuses on Mr. C and he goes and does his oh, tomfoolery that's right so what we were told by Bracho is that this might be the episode where he stopped watching the return and I didn't stop watching. I just fell off it. He, f he fell so, for I some reason. Forgot. He went into well, a but, coma. I mean, the reality is, yeah, he at some well, point I stopped watching yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't it's stop. Okay. Off it's okay. It's okay. It's not. Running. Why did you stop? This is a great <laughs> show. You stopped. Yeah. You quit. <laughs> I was just like, I just want to make sure you know, I did not stop. <laughs> <laughs> Something else like came into his stopped. life. Something Eric, else happened in and, his life. Eric and a box set of Twin Peaks were standing in the Montana mountains shouting at each other, and Eric said, I don't know why, I can't quit you. I can't quit you. Dude. I can't I quit, quit you. <laughs> so, without further ado, we're just going to we're gonna jump into this one. <laughs> and um, definitely keep comments uh, you know, flowing in the, uh, in the comments section. Do definitely what you got to do. Comments. Uh. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to say. I, like, keep them coming? I don't like yeah, saying that. That's like me, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep them coming. Uh, tell talk us... To his, talk to his lips now. Tell us what you think Let's Rock means if you haven't seen this episode, and then watch it, and then come back uh, as we discuss it. Um, and yeah, anything... Tell us how stupid I am. Any theories, anything at all Twin Peaks related on this video, leave in the comments below, and we'll be sure to address them. Um, or just, like, I, life. I'm a I'm a pretty big believer that statistically over a great enough span of time a lot of things can happen. So I'm gonna put it out there and say that there is somebody who's going to watch this YouTube video without having watched any other Twin Peaks. I want yeah. you to watch season three first. Go back, watch all season three, and then go back and watch one and two. And then come back and tell us about it. Report your findings. Yes. But that would be insane. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that that would be a that cool might exercise. Be an even bigger tonal whiplash to go from season three to season one than it is to go from season one to season three or I, season two to season three. I think that you're completely correct. Like yep. that'd be insane. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting exercise. Somebody out there, I hope you get to do that sometime. Uh, or, or, or I hope that a technology gets created where we can just like wipe our specific memories of having seen this yeah. thing. Ooh, interesting. So it could be like experiencing it for the first for the, time. Yeah, exactly. Again. Whether it's an album or like we just do that to Eric. We're like, okay, Eric, we're going <laughs> to erase all of your memories of Coheed and Cambria. And then we're going to sit you down and we're going to make you listen to the What if albums. he hates it? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what if, what if there was a prime ingredient that was completely circumstantial? And then if that ingredient wasn't there, all of a sudden I'm just now out my favorite band. Well, that's that's. But I wouldn't know. An entire I'm discussion about band, but still. What a roll yeah, of the that, dice! That just opens an yeah. entire discussion in a like whole that. new way, like nurture over nature. Is it in yeah. your nature to be a person that likes Coheed and Cambria, or were you in some way, yeah, nurtured by certain circumstances to? Oh, dude, we're, we're oh. getting off the track here. No, we're on track. Right? I enjoy Twin what Peaks this... is all about nature. Yeah. nature. <laughs> That's what Twin Peaks is. Yeah, it's all about nature. Yeah, it is. The nature, the it's well, the nature of I everything. Mean, it's all in the woods, dude. 
to me that's not very far off because like what there, there's two halves of nature that's there's the things that we think we know like that we yeah. quote unquote know about nature and then there's all the shit that we and don't know. right and so all the shit that we don't know is quite a fucking lot most of it if, yeah it, like literally say. yeah exactly so <laughs> well, who, boys, kno who knows all i gotta say who knows? is i don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's rock i don't know let's, let's rock, rock Oh, Louie, Louie. Oh. Keep Armstrong and it along, dude. We gotta go. All right, boys. We're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna talk about Louis, Louis. this <laughs> last episode. Do you recall what this episode was titled? Not a oh. cluey, Louie. Not a cluey, <laughs> Louie. Uh, let's rock. Yeah. We got these rock musicians rocking out. It wasn't very rocking, though. It was pretty chill. No, but uh, it was... Yeah, it was, I guess, chill, but there was some rock. Like, there was rock and roll happening oh, in this yeah, house. She's tripping balls, dude. She <laughs> do, you remember, balls. do you remember who said that? It's like Lorraine uh, Warren, remember? Oh, yeah, who said that? Let's rock. I remember. Do you remember? Was it Harry Ding Stangen? Harry Ding Stangen? Uh, no, it was not Harry Ding Stangen. It was Diane. It was Diane, yes. Are and they you had in? that weird, like, musical sting. Like, I think that was from Fire Walk With Me. So yeah, we um Harry Ding. Harry Sting. We at the beginning we have Albert she gets and brought Gordon. into Blue Rose shit. Yes, exactly. Blue, whatever the fuck. Officially. Talk a little yeah, bit more yeah. about it. Like it's he uh basically gives T P Tammy Preston or like marching orders. Toilet like, paper. Yeah. Toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper is here to look into some of these blue rose White cases oh, and which what was fly, really cool Tammy. i really like them talking about philip jeffries and like yep. the only people yep. that have like um the only few people that have encountered blue rose co cases they would disappear and that's yeah, like, yes, philip jeffries dale cooper and old boy chet, from and uh, chet desmond Chris Isaac, chet, right yeah, chet desmond yep but Chet Desmond, it, dude, yeah. It is, it is a little curious that they don't mention um, whatever uh, Venomous Snake's name is. Um, oh, Kiefer. Kiefer. Yeah, uh, Kiefer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Snake, that's what you oh. know him as. I love it. Well, he I wasn't, mean, uh, dude, like... He wasn't the lead <laughs> investigator on it, though, right? But it, but it doesn't matter. Like, he, he was still an investigator, so... I'm well, a nice about, what about Chucklehead? Fucking uh, nice Bordeaux. Old Chucklefuck from the last season, the bad guy. What Chuck was his name? Wyndham Earl. Yeah. What about him? Does he count? Uh, I mean, as far as like an FBI agent that has gone missing, like, I, yeah, you could say so. I guess he's not a like a Blue Rose agent though, like the other he three was. were. Um, At one point, I think that he was, or he. Yeah, he knew about he was some deep FBI information that he used to become pure power yeah. or something like that. Well, use maybe, it to maybe his he advantage. Wasn't, because maybe that's the reason that Wyndham Earl yeah, like, went astray. Yeah, I thought it was just came across essentially. Yeah, is because he had he, he probably knew about had it the aptitude. It like, out. Yeah, yeah, because 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 Dale says that like oh, uh, Wyndham Earl taught me everything I knew everything I know about it being an FBI agent. He doesn't say anything about. He taught me everything I know about being like a Blue Rose investigator, or he never talks about uh, Wyndham Earl in the capacity of being uh, part of the investigations uh, attached to Blue Rose. So, yeah, he probably had the aptitude to like be a member of that, but he just was like, the timing wasn't right where he never got invited or like whatever. Hey, maybe and he Dale, just, he just Dale's experiences, maybe some of Dale's experiences with Wyndham Earl's what led him to be. Or part of what led him to be part of the Blue Rose stuff. And may yeah, well, maybe he was, like, primed and ready because Wyndham Earl was himself, like, capable and would have been a good candidate. Or, like, a, a candidate right. capable of being a Blue Rose investigator. But he passes right. those skills on to Dale, who then gets that opportunity. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So she yeah, said, "That's her saying, let's, let's rock.' Let's rock, yep. And then we get some nice vistas. Let's pop. And uh, this shot of 
Jerry coming out of the forest. Lorraine Warren. Did you guys get my snap? I did. I got notified. <laughs> I turned on notifications for that because I thought that maybe eventually you would post more. <laughs> but yeah, you were like, yeah. Ben! <laughs> ben! I don't know where I am! I took a, I took like a 15-mile hike the other day, Bradshaw. Yeah. I, I was just out in the middle of the wilderness. You know, sending Jerry, Jerry's, it's Jerry Gary videos. On? So oh, what was uh, oh, Sarah's issue here with these with beef on, jerkies? She's never seen the beef jerky before? She's never seen them before. It changed. No, I don't know. It changed for her. Bracho, has that ever happened to you? You go somewhere and something's changed and you're like, why did that change? Tell me now. Yeah, dude. And you get pissed. It's turkey yep. jerky. I, well, it's smoked. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> that poor boy. That poor girl. They're just like, uh, she's, she's just like, take the brunt of Sarah's crazy. So yeah, I was going to say, Sarah's just dwindling down the drain. And as uh, I assume, based off of all the things that have happened, she's not a fan of change. So maybe that, <laughs> you know, triggers yeah. something in her that stuff's changed and it's not how she remembers it. So just talking openly about what may be going on here is like a few things. A, alcohol. Yeah. B, like yeah, the the trauma of her life, and yep. then see uh, yep. a frog moth being inside of her, which directly came from Judy. And uh, yep. from what we see later, she could possibly be like a a vessel that that contains a shard of, or an aspect of, or Judy herself. I don't know. Yeah. So she she's let's just say that Sarah's got a few things on her plate. Yeah. And we jump to we are this guy. Definitively in the uh, the space of stuff I haven't seen before. Okay. <laughs> H- HDS. Don't HDS. Smell your blood. And uh, the yes sir guy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes sir. What was his name? I forget. What it was like an it, it wasn't like Chester or, or like uh, Stumps. No. Driscoll. <laughs> I forget, but but he's basically like, "Hey, I was told that you've been selling your blood. Don't do that. <laughs> like, if you if you need money, just come see me. Like, we'll talk about it. I'll get I'll have Let's you go. do some work for me to call it even. But like, yeah, HDS just being a good guy. Mm-hmm. Angie ding stinging, dude. <laughs> Whatever, as as you say, Eric. You never sleep on. And we get Sunny Jim and uh, Dale. Dougie. Douglas. Doing some catch. That was the a nice color little... grading is so much more <laughs> rich. Bullshit. And we were talking like Whatever. grass in Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah dude, that's a lot of money, dude. And a private fenced in like lawn for the for like that condo that they have. They're uh, yeah. And then the fucking hawk visits. Residentials in the desert are all fucking rock lawns and shit. How awful was Rock this? Mom. Like this scene, like it was so eerie when Hawk shows up at Sarah's house and like he sees like the uh, the fan and like oh uh, the flickering fan. There's a, there's another shot too of it, like a different framing. Mm-hmm. Um, that was like yeah. a bad omen in the first show, right? The flickering fan. Yeah. Well, electricity I mean, not stairs. Directly, but like the stairs were a big thing. That the, there was like. It was that first episode when Sarah found out, uh, or or like really, oh, yeah. first was dealing with the idea of of Laura being gone. We got that eerie ass shot of the stairs and the fan, and then they would just keep repeating during those like really tense moments of her like maybe right. having visions or Bob doing something. There was right. a connection visually, Bob's your uncle, or like tonally made between these moments of trauma. Or these moments of like Black Lodge activity or something like that, right? And right, this space and the fan, and so yeah. Okay. Quick she shot. She was of saying, Miriam. didn't she say she was like, she was having a drink with somebody or something like that too? So Hawk goes to the door and he's just asking like, "Hey, how's everything going?" You know, uh, I, and I don't know whether he's doing this based on his own investigations or maybe he, <laughs> he got a call from the grocery store. Yeah. But he's he when he's talking to her, she's acting real like shifty and dodgy as she always is because yeah. Sarah's got a lot on her plate. But he's he, there is very clearly 
noises from inside. It's not even like a very subtle thing that's happening. It's like you you hear it as an audience member. And and Hawk is like, oh shit, like Sarah, who's in there? Like what's going on? And she's like, nobody, nothing's going on. And he's like, okay, well, if something is happening, like you can talk to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. She's like, okay. Yeah, there, there's like fucking poltergeists or some shit happening in her house. Like yeah. weird stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Poultry geists. And then Miriam. They found her. The boys got help, so congrats or congratulations. Good job, boys. Good job. You did you did a great whoever, thing. Whoever the mayor is raising the hands of these boys. Congratulations to these boys. They did it. They Save. saved Miriam. Save the life of Miriam, as we all know. D- August. <laughs> <laughs> And then this, uh, all caps. I was supposed to say, I haven't asked yet. It's fucking, uh, it's fucking David Lynch. They haven't asked yet. They haven't asked yet. I will write the text message. Um, and then we get some dialogue between Truman and Ben talking about Ben's son. Or Ben's Grandson. grandson. And, um, the situation there. And Harry. Yep. His, his son going into the speed force and shit. <laughs> They're not talking about that, but I wish they were. <laughs> and then but they they linger on there, this, the key a for a flash. while. <laughs> like I want you, I want you, your brother to have this key. I think you would really appreciate oh. this key. Oh yeah, you, can yeah. you go? Dale's can key you give him the... this key? <laughs> like, yep. Made a big deal key. about it. Key, 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 a key. I kept saying, do you think he'd like this? Oh yeah. See what would you would you think he liked this? You know, you know Ben. Oh uh, yeah. I I do think he would like. This. So uh, you think he'd like this? <laughs> you think he yep. would want this? Can you give it yep. to him for me? Oh yeah. There was a lot of, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. that it, it was basically that question and that answer back and forth for a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Ben, ben giving a Very lot of clear. yeah, and and Robert Forrester giving a lot of yeah. <laughs> I remember we were just doing that a back and forth. Of, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Any relation to the other Judd? Which Judd? Winona Winona Judd? Yeah. Yeah, Winona Judd. Naomi Judd? Yes. Well, there there we go. You just answered your own question. Um, And then we get some nice Bordeaux again. A nice Bordeaux. This was so so bizarre. uh, She could not uh, leave. Do you you know what I said to myself today? It was just an exercise in tedium. It was great. <laughs> what did well, you What did you think about today, Wilson? It's. I said out loud to myself. It, it popped into my head, and I immediately immediately went, "Tray chic." Tray chic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tray chic. But, but that, Eric, what you're talking about is is his penchant in this fucking show for just like. Hey, this one scene that has nothing to do with continuing the story or anything, yeah. let's have it just go on and keep going well, on. And what I was thinking about too when we were watching it was like, it was like, okay, he Albert needs to talk to him about something. There's going to be some information here. So then it just keeps draw, being drawn out and like tension built. Like, okay, hurry the fuck up. We got to get to this thing. And then when we finally get to the thing, it's not all that consequential, I don't think. <laughs> If I remember correctly, we'll see. I, think I don't I remember. remember. I think I remember. Well, but it was just like it was just like just pushing it off and pushing it, it off either. and getting us more and more Being frustrated with this lady to just hurry the fuck up. Do you realize Albert, Albert tells him that uh, Diane's being shady, basically, still, today. and he's like, yeah. "Do it. I'm trying to get wet." <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Trying to get this there, dangy wangy to But is there is there something that we should read into about Gordon Cole being able to like woo? Get with sexy ladies? Yeah, because like even in the first season, Shelly does you know, she may not be attracted yeah. to him in the way of like romantic well, or charming to do something. But but he charms her, and that's what's happening here. Clearly, clearly they're having a very like engaging personal relationship and they're you know all their clothes are on they're not touching each other so yeah. it's, it was getting there but it um but, 
it this is not the first time and it, it no. I, I just feel like it is uh... well with <laughs> with uh with what's her fuck too it's he didn't need his hearing aid to hear her yep yep shelly that's what it was. this was a horrible scene this uh this Stuff, warden yeah. tim, the, roth. tim roth snipes the warden and the for some reason his kid is awake and just starts yelling daddy no daddy daddy oh dad dad no, dad, no. i said no dad <laughs> uh, and then we get some dr amp yeah tramp yep. doing his shit dig yourself out of the shit Buy my golden shovel. <laughs> and Nadine just chilling. Twenty nine ninety nine. Two coats, guaranteed. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, and then here we go. The scene oh, yeah. to end all scenes here. The the it's God, pissed me off. God, it did, yes, led to exactly. it led to basically Audrey yelling at her husband, saying like, "You're not gonna tell me." After this what long this like. I forget. Uh, yes, yeah, Charlie. 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 She's yeah. just they're they're like he is being he's being dodgy, he's being cagey, he's being like manipulative in subtle ways, and she is just so pissed at him. Mm. And they keep going around in circles. <laughs> but I love how like he's Where's something man at? pretty uh, specific like Fuck you, that's weird. On the phone, like you just call him. And then she's mm -hmm. he's like on the phone for a while, and he's realized something. And then just the withholding of the information to Audrey, <laughs> she just gets yeah. so pissed. Like you're not gonna tell me. Well, and they just tell me where he's at. You're gonna tell me what, what, what this dude. The he's look. just like, I'll tell you go fuck yourself. That's, that's what I'll tell you. That's all he did. Like this is the go fuck yourself face. Just yeah. no. Yeah. Audrey, my work's piling up. I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, I'll have to get my coat. <laughs> and then this is what you guys missed after my internet crash. So it's just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Diane at the bar gets another text. Or no, she goes and no, we, searches. We saw this part. Oh, yeah. She searches and finds Twin Peaks. It, it came up Twin Peaks. And then that was the point where it, it cut out, I believe. Okay. And yeah. then after Ten that, tweaks? here's what happened. So we get to the bar. <laughs> and oh, then the that. band plays and then these girls have their little talk. yeah this scene some drinky poos but I think that they may be referring to uh, the person that uh, or one of the people that uh, Audrey was going off about some interesting things happened I mean I, I enjoyed it for the most part um, the big things I really liked was getting Tammy Preston into the fold and like talking about the previous season and the Tammy movie. Preston? Uh, toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. Like just yep. them recounting toilet paper? big events that kind of didn't really matter in the initial few seasons, I would say until you got to fire walk mm -hmm. with me and things like that. And you, you dug into like the esoteric or like the mystic, like the mystic warrior kind of ideas of the show, yeah, you know? Like, well, yeah, it's like the very, very beginning. It's like 1960 something. Uh, 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 Project Blue Book was officially suspended, but the FBI kept investigations going and all. Like, it's like, oh, oh tell me more, please. Yes, <laughs> drink up. <laughs> so, overall, <laughs> yeah. that sold this episode for me. The, the quick Dougie <laughs> interaction was yeah, the... fine. Like, it just playing catch like we just, go Never said go play Dougie catch yet. with sunny jim and that's all we get from him which was just fine it's good it's enough dude that's enough you just give no, me doggy at all i'm okay no mr c this episode no mr c, mr. c we, i mean unless not he's not on the phone with diane like, he's there uh, on the phone sure in sure. spirit he's there in spirit well wow. <laughs> he's there in dream soul yep okay the next episode Episode 13. Ooh, spooky. Lucky 13. Um, it's called... Um, uh, just double check here. What story is that, Charlie? 
Hmm. That's what the episode's called. So stay tuned for what story is that, Charlie? <laughs> only one, only one Charlie I know about TV. First new episode. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to keep the conversation going in the comments. Um, anything and everything Twin Peaks related that would be awesome. Some trivia maybe people have, or discussions, or maybe deeper insights on this episode. That'd be awesome. Right. And salute <laughs> to the new subscribers, to the new viewers, those of you who like, we are about to watch. We salute you. <laughs>